Alright guys, welcome back to another video here on Call of the Wild the Angler. We are out here on South Africa, the new reserve on its release day. And on this occasion, what I'ma show you on this video are every single of the diamond locations that I had the luck to discover while playing on the early access for this map. You know, these locations are places where I had the luck to catch my first diamonds on South Africa, so I'm pretty sure that this video will be very helpful for any of you looking to catch your first monsters on this amazing new map. And before we start with the clips, I have to say that the last hotspot I'll show you on this video was actually not discovered by me, it was discovered by CGO the Honor, the great CGO the Honor. he's an absolute legend for being able to find a spot while we were all struggling to even find a cult of that species, and I really recommend you to check out his YouTube channel in case you haven't, because he makes some amazing content for this game, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you will find very useful. That's some tension. I'm pretty sure it is a blue corper, so it has to be really big. Let's see. One point ninety two kilo, it is equal. Nice catch. Another corper, I believe. Seems decent. That's some tension. Come on. Two point oh eight kilos, another gold. It is big, but far from my personal base, which was another gold with a weight of two point fifty three. So I really suspect this may be diamond location because the fact we have got so many golds here may be a good indicator. No way, guys! Look at what I just got. Hey, diamond. My first diamond on this reserve. On the first day of early access. Such a shame I didn't record it, I didn't think he was gonna be this big. I was just fishing with a size 6 frog and he didn't look that big. I swear it was only gold. But here we have it, our first diamond blue corper. It is a nice looking fish. Beautiful model. And of course what truly matters is the location on which I caught this guy, right here, of this dock. Just come here in the afternoon, and what I recommend you is to use a hook size number 6 plus dough, which is for silvers and better. And in case you are not getting bites with the setup, what you can do is to simply switch over to a hook size number 8 and catch all the bronzes that are gonna be in the area in order to hopefully get some decent response. What is that? I think it may be carp. Well, the tension is incredibly high on a 3 kilo line. I assume it is a car, but there's also a chance there is a giant blue corper. It would have to be diamond if it is a corper. No way! It is a corper. That's insane! Has to be diamond. Has to be. Yeah, look at the size of this thing, 3.55 kilos. Holy! Seems like we found the honey hole for these guys. Fantastic spot. Now I wonder if this lake is only good for blue corper or if it is also a good spot for something else. Ok, that is a blue corper on the size 5 hook which is for golds and better. So I can't wait to see if it is truly big. The tension is high. And I'm using a 4 kilo line, so this guy may be diamond. Yes, 3.37 kilos. Not too far from our biggest. I've no idea of what is gonna be the max weight, but my guess would be something around 4 kgs. It will be interesting to see what is the record once the map gets released. Oh my god! What did we just hooked here? I'm using a 10 kilo line and a size 1 popper. 
and whatever we hooked here is taking a lot of line. I wonder if it is a gigantic tigerfish or yellowfish because as far as I know the only species that can bite a size one popper are those two. In fact, based on my experience, I can say that the size one popper works well for silver largemouth yellowfish and for gold smallmouth yellowfish, and maybe also for gold tigerfish. Man, I've no idea of what we're about to land, but luckily we're about to find that out. Is it a yellowfish? Seems to be a largemouth yellowfish, no way has to be minimum a gold. Minimum. Oh, wow. Wow. No shot. Our first time on yellowfish. Largemouth yellowfish. 19.33 kilograms, that's a monster. Look at how big it is. These things get massive. Man, this was one of the species I was really looking forward to get a diamond of. Never got one bigger than a silver before and now we have a diamond. And we had the luck to catch him right here on this part of the river. I was in my way to try this spot right here where I have this marker looking to see if there's catfish there. But then I saw this challenge board which is for yellowfish. So then I said, well maybe this is a nice location for yellowfish. And I decided to do a few casts with the popper to see if I managed to catch something interesting there. And well, you saw what just happened. You saw what just happened, we just discovered another diamond location. And we may have another diamond here. Another diamond yellowfish. It is putting some serious tension on our line, which now is heavier because I don't want another fight as long as the last one. So let's see the weight of this guy. We are still on the same spot. 15.6 kilos, this one is a gold. Also a giant. On literally the first cast after the diamond. Holy! I don't wanna get my hopes up too much. I don't wanna say this guy will be another diamond. But the tension it is putting on the line is really promising. It is Cream's diamond. So it wouldn't be surprising if it is. Please be huge. Come on. And it is another diamond. 18.07 kilos. This seems to be a fantastic place. Maybe the best one to catch him. All of them while twitching with a size one popper. You can also use a float zero or even a bottom zero because they like the corn, but I think the popper is faster. They bite faster. Oh, this one is decent. I could be wrong, but it looked like a red breast corper. It is definitely corper, but we'll see if it is a red breast. Yeah, and it's a big gold. 1.29 kilos, our new personal best. That's a really big corper. I've been struggling to find good spots where you can consistently catch calls of this species and we may have stumbled across a good one. No way, it seems like that is another huge red breast corper. The tension is high, but honestly I would expect higher tension from a diamond. I'd be surprised if it is heavier than the last gold actually. Second gold on this location, that's good. It may be a good sign, it could mean that this is a diamond spot for red breast corper. I mean, the only way we have to verify that is to keep catching fish here and we'll see if a diamond ends up appearing at some point. It would be amazing to find another diamond hotspot. Another big corper? Oh! No way, the tension went up to 9 o'clock. That's crazy, this guy is massive. May it actually be diamond. And there we have it. 
there we have it, our first time on Red Breast Corper. I cannot believe it, I was starting to lose faith on this spot after catching so many goals without a single diamond, and then this guy comes to save the day. Such a beautiful species, undoubtedly one of the best looking fish in the game, along with the canary corper and the blue corper of course. And I'm pretty sure the size may be slightly off, at least on this early access, because this guy is only 1.69 kilos, and it is bigger than the blue corpers that weighed more than 3 kgs. So I guess that the size of these guys will be adjusted at some point, or who knows, maybe it will be all readjusted when you get to play this map, because remember, right now we're on an early access build, and some things may not be as polished as on the live build. Now I'ma show you what truly matters on this case, which is the location on which I'm catching these monsters. Right here. I'ma place a marker. You know, I would say it is very likely that this whole area is a diamond spot, and maybe the entire lake. I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. And talking about the setup I suggest you using to fish on this spot, a hook size number 7 plus either bloodworm or hog dogs is a very nice option because it is gonna let you catch everything from a silver red breast to a diamond red breast corper. Promising tension. It is a catfish, and it may be our first gold of this species on a hotspot that was discovered by CGO the Honor, where he managed to catch the first ever diamond sharp tooth catfish. Like, that was amazing. He caught it on stream and they look gigantic. Now, let's see how heavy is this one. Based on the tension, it won't be diamond, but it may be gold. And I'll be really happy with just a gold, because I've been trying to catch one the whole weekend without any luck, and now with this spot. It seems a lot more possible. Let's see. And finally a gold. 17.22 kilos. Finally. It has to be barely gold, because our biggest silver was 16.95. Here is a small gold. We got a bite on the twat. We got a bite on the gold exclusive hook. And it is taking line at 40% drag, no way. No way. Holy. This guy is heavy, this guy is a monster. We may have a diamond here. Man, this spot is crazy. We have got 3 golds here so far, and apparently this one will be our first diamond. On the CGO spot. You know, the diamond CGO got was 57 pounds, which is like 25, 26 kilograms, so I wonder how heavy is this one. Presumably, the one he caught was a small diamond, then it is very likely that they can reach 30 kilos or maybe more. More than 70 pounds, perhaps. Okay, the moment of truth. Is this our first ever diamond sharp tooth catfish? I think it is. Let's go, it is a diamond. Let's go. 27.4 kilos. Roughly 60 pounds. What a beast. Look at the size of this monster. I can't believe it. And again, all credits to CGO the Honor for being the one who discovered this location and the one who caught the first diamond here. So I'ma show you the hotspot right here in case you haven't seen it on CGO's channel. Right here, around this marker, on the bottom lake. So far, the only location we know where it's possible to catch a diamond African sharp tooth catfish. Make sure to bring your strongest feeder rod, like for example the Cetro del Rey rod from the Spain souvenir shop. Also, make sure to equip your strongest spinning reel, like the Pure Champion or the Tiff Talker, as well as a very heavy line, like the 60 pound line, in order to be able to handle these monsters. And as for the hook size and the bait, what I recommend you is to use a hook size number 2, which is for silvers and better, combined with liver. Another bite on the two out, guys. Oh. Wow. It is heavy. Like... Diamond kind of heavy. Yeah, this guy is huge. 
I've had the luck to catch another two goals since the last diamond, the none of them produced nearly the same amount of tension as this one. Not even close and they were both above 20 kilos. Let's land it. Oof, 26.21 kilos. Another diamond on the two -odd. You know, normally I wouldn't recommend you using a hook size number 2 odd since it is only for goals and better and it can take a while to get bites with it. But on this case I was actually working on other stuff while I had the game opened in the background after casting out without expecting anything and we've been getting a lot of bites that way. So using a gold or diamond hook can be quite useful for those situations where you may not have the time to pay that much attention to the game while still having a chance to catch goals and diamonds. Now, this is crazy, we have another bite on the two -odd. literally, oh! What in the world? What is that tension? Literally a couple minutes after the last one. This has to be diamond. And it is undoubtedly the biggest of the three. Undoubtedly. How big is this thing? I mean, tension-wise, it puts the other two diamonds to shame. There's no comparison. Okay, it is getting tired, finally. Now we're about to reel him in. 11 meters out? Only seconds away from catching our new personal best diamond catfish, without any doubt. And potentially get a good idea of what will be the max weight. Oh my god! Man! This guy is heavier than 70 pounds. 33.76 kilos. Making it the heaviest non-legendary species in the game. Actually, I'm gonna do the conversion real quick because I wanna see its exact weight in pounds. 74.42 pounds, guys. Almost 75 pounds, that's insane. Heavier than any other diamond in the game. And obviously the question is, how close is this one from max weight? I don't have an answer to that. But maybe you will once the map comes out. So I wish you luck.